Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Seth Hill 45 with on a beautiful Saturday morning with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about how my academic advisement appointment went. I know I told you guys I had that yesterday. Um, so anyway, uh, we, we, we sat down for like an hour, a little bit over actually, and uh, we went through my degree plan. We talked about uh, which credits transferred from my other two schools, um, those being Liberty University Online as well as uh, uh, <coughs> Central Texas College. And which credits transferred, which credits didn't transfer. Uh, basically, as soon as I sat down, he showed me a piece of paper and he goes, do these look like the classes you took? And I was like, yeah, but you know, there's some missing. And it was a lot of, it was all my, pretty much all my elective classes. However, um, we're waiting on something called JST, uh, which is like uh, elective credits, right? I had like 33 credits from that. And basically uh, here, once you transfer, you have to have taken uh, at least up to 12 semester credit hours in order for those to show up. So eventually those will auto populate. So with that being said, uh, the advisor told me not to take uh, pretty much any elective classes until then. Uh, and then also we went through like all the Spanish classes I would want to um, take or that I need to take. Um, and then also like if I wanted to do a minor or something like that, and we'll get into that. But anyway, uh, another thing, another problem that I ran into is I never took the ACT or the SAT, but <clears throat> so I don't have all those math and English and science scores and all that good stuff. Um, and the reason why is when I first went to college, I didn't have to take those cl uh, classes. Liberty told me I didn't have to, you know, I was like 19, 18 at the time and, um, they told me I didn't have to. So I was like, all right, cool. I won't then, <laughs> you know, there's one less thing I have to worry about. Well now, um, I, I don't have to take those. Uh, the school provides something called the Alex test. Um, basically, um, Monday through Friday, you can schedule it. And you go to the school, go to college, and take those tests, and it kind of guesses where you'll be at. And it, and it also tells you, like, okay, can you take an upper-level uh, math class or, like, you know, that, that's where I, I struggle the most, math. I could reading, English, all that good stuff, I could do all that. Um, but then also explain, like, if I score well then it, in the math, it pretty much knocks out the science. And then if I do well in the reading, it pretty much knocks out the English or however it works, right? I'm still trying to figure it out. There's a lot of information here. So um, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. But then whenever we get into the, to the math class, which I should be able to start taking um, the 8th of March, so which would be really cool. It's pretty soon, but it would be really cool, the Spanish class. Um, I've already taken Spanish one over at Central Texas College. So with that being said, uh, it knocked out my Spanish my Spanish one here. I have to take a Spanish two, and I'm gonna try to get into that. There's some things that I have to do beforehand. Um, I also have to send like my social security card to the uh, advisement office. I didn't know you had to do that either, um, but we'll all right, get it to them somehow. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll get that taken care of, and then I can start really, really taking classes. Uh, so I'll jump into Spanish two. And then after that, I have to take two, two lower level elementary, where they can, which would be like Spanish one, Spanish two, um, considerably, but other language, right? So I was like, all right, well, I'll just take German. I already speak a little bit. I lived there for like two and a half years. I lived in Germany. Um, I already speak a little bit, right? I never took a formal class, but it should be a little bit easier being that I've spoken it before. Uh, and then my other, my, my older brother speaks it. Uh, fluently reads it writes it all that good stuff reason being is he lives in Berlin which is pretty cool to me um, pretty proud of him but anyway so I'll take that and then the rest of them after that I'll take um, intermediate Spanish one intermediate Spanish two and then going from there I have what one two three four five six classes right here <laughs> that I have to take um, and they're pretty cool because it's concurrent so I can't take um, I can't take one without having taken, like I can't go to the next level without having taken the, the first level. And so it'll be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, right? And then after that, uh, and the crazy thing about that actually is they're not all uh, offered every single semester. So if they're there, the advisor was like, look, man, if, if they're there, right, if there's three, take them all. And I'm like, okay, I can take those like at the same time. And he's like, yeah. Um, so I'm like, cool, whatever. I'll do that, right? And then after that, I have to choose two of four Spanish classes, uh, and they're uh, surveyed of Spanish literature to 1800, um, surveyed to Spanish literature 1800 to the present, survey of early uh, Latin American literature, survey of, early, of modern Latin American literature, and that'll basically be my degree. Uh, and then he also asked me, do I wanna take a minor, right? And I'm really excited for all this, and I'm like, well, yeah. Um, can I, I was like, can I do a minor in like international relations? Because I've been wanting to do that for my master's degree anyway. 
right? And it kind of helped me like see what I would be doing, you know, learning uh, before then, uh, before my master's, like what, uh, like where I could work at, what, what different fields I could work in or what different kind of like departments or agencies I could work in, right? And then also give me some kind of um, like uh, experience beforehand as far as like the classes that I would have to take and all that good stuff. So we went through there and there's 18 um, credits. So it's like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm sure that'll look good. And um, so I'm probably gonna do that, uh, but just follow me on this journey. It's gonna take a little bit longer because my job, I, have, I still have to work. So uh, on top of that, you know, I'll have to end up, because of that, I'll have to end up doing like night classes and then weekends and like eight to fives on Saturday and stuff like that. And I'm cool with that. Um, it's also a different change of pace too because uh, most of the courses offered at UCO are 16 um, week long courses or classes. I'm used to doing like eight long, eight week long courses. Um, but so they're a little bit longer, but um, I think it's going to be beneficial because you know one going residential for pretty pretty much the first time um, courses, then you know I really get a chance to sit down and kind of like really learn and also um, uh, digest all the information that I'm getting and really practice too so that I become more fluent in Espanol, you know? Um, so I gotta go do all that good stuff. I gotta go schedule the Alex test. I gotta go do the, um, you know, try to see where I would, um, see where I would test so I can see what classes I can start taking as far as like the core, like the math, the, 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 um, the, the maths, the English, the sciences, all that good stuff, right? Um, and then I also have to take like American history and national government and stuff like that. But there's a lot of notes here. Um, I have to watch some kind of like little orientation video um, as well. And then um, just go through and, and start knocking them out. Uh, he said it would be a lot easier <laughs> once we started getting the ball rolling on all these different things like the Alex test and, and then um, finally getting to take Spanish 2 since I already have Spanish 1 and all that good stuff. Um, as time goes by, it'll be easier, and obviously the, the amount of classes I have to take will shrink. But anyway, I want to give you that, that, that update. Um, but <laughs> I want to give you guys that update, and then also he told me, like I said, not to take, uh, really, really pretty much not take any kind of uh, elective courses because we don't know which ones are going to show up, which ones are not going to show up. I'll probably have it all maxed out by the time that I take those 12 credit hours um, at the actual university. Uh, as a student, uh, a Bronco, as a UCO Bronco, um, and then also, man, I left the I left the building at like three fifty four exactly. <laughs> I didn't know you had to pay to park in the visitor parking lot, so I got a twenty dollar ticket. And I was like, at three forty eight, I looked at the time. I'm like, bro, how am I supposed to know that you have to pay if there's no like kiosk to pay at? You know, but I, I don't know. I thought that was funny, but so I'm gonna go pay that. And then uh, I just want to let you guys know, also, if you made it this far in the video. Since I have to take those two other, um, the 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 inner like the elementary one and two of whatever language. Here's some languages that that, that they offer. It's like Chinese, French, German, J Japanese, Latin, um, obviously Spanish, uh, and and then there he said that they're they're talking about adding like Russian and some and Italian. I think there is Italian already there. I don't know. He said a bunch of stuff, but a bunch of languages and stuff. Which language? do you guys think that I should take? Or what language would you guys take, um, guys and girls, if you were there, you were studying Spanish, right? But they tell you, you know what, you, you have to, it's part of the degree program, or the degree path, uh, degree plan, you have to take um, two languages, uh, you know, uh, two classes of another language, one and two of that language. Which language would you take? So, yeah, just let me know. Um, and then also I wanna introduce you guys to my dog, Spencer, or Remy, come here buddy. Obviously, I can't whistle right now. Get up. Get up, buddy. Get up. Get up. Uh-oh. Say hi. Say hi since we dropped the camera. <laughs> uh, this is Remy, guys. All right. Love you, buddy. All right. Later. Have a good day. Later.